Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you regarding the enhanced version of the GMAT online which is going into effect on April 8, 2021. So what is the reason behind the enhanced version of this exam? What is new? What still remains the same? I will be talking about everything in detail in this video. So do not skip even a single second. Also, uh, to start off, what is the reason behind GMAT Online? So, what happened was in 2020, when things started getting really rough and test centers started closing, so GMAT came uh, with an idea saying that why not give the test takers a chance to answer this exam from the comfort of their own house. So, that is how GMAT Online was born and it came into effect last year and it is still going very, very strong. Uh, applicants are preferring this exam mode compared to the normal test taking section i've made a separate video regarding the difference between the gmat online and the conventional gmat exam so please check that out in my youtube channel so now without wasting much time let's get into the details of this youtube video Okay, so let's start uh, talking about the things that have not changed at all in the GMAT online exam. So the first thing uh, which has not changed and it is great is that there is complementary uh, score sending to unlimited number of schools. So when uh, GMAT online started, this was a feature that was offered that time and it is great that uh, GMAT has not put a limit to uh, the number of institutions that you can send your scores to. For example, if you take the normal GMAT exam by going to the test center uh, physically, that time you are limited uh, to in five institutions where you can send your scores. But in case of GMAT online exam, you can send your scores to maybe 40 institutions, 50, 60, maybe 100 institutions. It is all up for grabs. So this is a very, very good thing that has not changed in the exam okay to talk about the next thing which has not changed that is the validity of your scores so uh, before the gmat online came into picture your scores were valid for five years now also your scores are valid for five years there is no change whatsoever in the uh, validity uh, in the number of years for your score for the application uh, to different business schools Okay, so now to talk about the cost for the exam. So uh, the cost has not changed for the GMAT online exam. It was $250 and still remains $250. And uh, uh, speaking about the number of uh, times you can answer the GMAT online exam, that is uh, allowed to only two tries in the online version so for example if i give the exam and i'm not happy with the score i can just retake the test one more time okay so that is one limitation kind of in the online form whereas in the physical form where you go and answer the gmat at a test center near you you can answer the gmat exam five times in one year and no more than eight times for your lifetime Another thing which has not changed is the online whiteboard and the use of physical whiteboard. That remains the same. There are no changes in the dimensions of the whiteboard uh, in, when I talk about the physical whiteboard. And in terms of the online whiteboard, uh, I think that is very self-explanatory where you have to just go and use the whiteboard the way you want it. You can pan it, zoom it, use shapes, then write on it, uh, uh, write letters, equations, whatsoever. So I have made a special video on the how to select uh, the right whiteboard for you uh, when uh, I'm especially talking about the physical whiteboard here. So uh, I, I put a link here so you can just click on the link and go to that video or uh, once you are done with this video you can go to my channel and then check it out. Now to talk about the registration of the GMAT online exam, that remains the same. There are no changes whatsoever. If you want to know more about the registration process, I have made a video on my channel. So you can go ahead and check that video out or you can click right here and get to the video directly. Okay, so let's now talk about the changes that have occurred in the GMAT online exam. And the first change is that instead of three sections, now you will be having four sections. So analytical writing section which was not present previously has been added now. 
okay so this may be a advantage to few and a disadvantage to few but hear me out and then you can decide whether it's good or bad for you so the thing was uh, when many uh, students asked the institutions whether uh, what would you prefer is gmat online or the normal gmat so obviously the institution said that we would give a preference if you had the scores for analytical writing so that is why gmat decided to keep analytical writing section in the gmat online so that is why the AWA section has been introduced in the GMAT online and this is going into effect from April 8th, 2021. So test takers, please be aware of this change and then decide when you want to answer your exam. So talking about the next change which has occurred and that is in terms of the section which you want to answer first. So basically now the applicant which is the person answering the exam gets a chance to decide which section he wants to answer first, second, third and fourth. So basically there are three uh, lineups from which you can choose. So I've spread the three lineups right here. So uh, it completely depends on the applicant whether he wants to answer the AWA section first, whether he wants to get done with the con section first or he wants to get into the groove and answer the verbal section first and just finish it off and then move on to the other sections so please make up your mind which section you want to answer first play to your strengths decide the order uh, in your mock exams practice it for at least two three mocks and then go out there and nail that gmat online exam so now talking about the next change which has occurred in the gmat online and i guess this is a very very good change at least it would have done wonders for me because personally I have a habit of getting very restless and getting into that overthinking phase where um, I don't know what marks I've got after the exam. So uh, usually uh, before this change, it would take around uh, between seven days to get your official scores on the MBA.com uh, website. But now, once you are done with the exam, there will be an option where you have to just say uh, show an official score. When you click on that, within maybe 20 or 30 seconds, you will get to see your score. So there will be no waiting whatsoever and that uh, suspense, how much uh, would I have got, I have not answered this section well, I have not answered that section well, uh, I was a bit nervous here, I fumbled here, how much would I have got. So now there is no suspense, you will get your score before you are done with the exam finally and when you log out you will have your scores so this is a great change which has occurred and I guess this will help everyone out you can decide then and there itself that no I want to give one other, another chance and then you can just set the tone and after a few days you can answer again okay so please uh, make sure you make good use of this feature and uh, I guess it will do wonders for everyone out there to talk about the next amazing feature that GMAC has introduced in this new version of GMAT online is that instead of one five minute long break you will get two eight minute long breaks and these are placed strategically uh, before or after the quant and verbal section so you will have to answer the IR and the AWA section in one stretch but nevertheless this is a very very good change and if you uh, don't like to uh, make use of these breaks you can just uh, press uh, skip break or something like that some option will be available so once you press that you will directly uh, be going to the next section so uh, like it or not this is a very very good change that GMAC has come up with and I guess all the applicants uh, will be benefiting from this change so going to the next change and I wouldn't say it's a change as such but with the introduction of two 8 minute long breaks and one AWA section the time of the exam has increased from 2 hours 45 minutes to 3 hours 7 minutes so I guess uh, this is fair on their part and I guess there's no harm as such in this uh, format but yes the length of the exam has increased but I don't think this will be a disadvantage to anyone out there. So the final change that GMAC has introduced in the GMAT online exam is in their registration department and this is a huge bonus for all the Indians out there because now you can register for the GMAT online exam with the help of your Aadhaar card. So now the uh, use of passport is not at all mandatory. Aadhaar card will serve as a substitute 
for passport in terms of your identification uh, this is a great change and why uh, i will just explain to you with a short example for example uh, there is a student who wants to answer the gmat and be ready uh, for his future education but he wants to have some experience around 2 or 3 years in the industry out there also uh, he is in the process of getting his passport and he does not have any passport uh, documents in place right now so you can just go ahead use his aadhar card register for the exam answer the exam get amazing scores work in the industry for 2 or 3 years get his passport sorted out and then travel for his uh, masters in business administration so this is a great change introduced by the gmac which is the governing body for the gmat online exam and uh, i completely endorse it and i'm very happy that they have actually introduced this in uh, the current situation because it will serve as a great uh, opportunity for all the youngsters out there so yes uh, that brings us to the end of our video thank you so much for watching this video if you have not already subscribed to my channel do it right now and click on the bell icon for those updates also there are many videos regarding gmat on my channel so just go ahead and watch them out i will see you for the next video so until then be happy stay safe and all the best for your preparation